Morning folks, 23rd of December and I'm out on the Monster R. For those of you who've been following my story, um, I, uh, coming back from a, a serious health issue and uh, just uh, traded my uh, BMW 1200RT because uh, I needed a lighter, more agile machine. Uh, so it ticks a number of boxes for my requirement that I uh, I wanted to work on my cornering. I'm my mentor, Seafly Fisher, who's uh, tutelage I've been under now for the last 18 months, uh, said that uh, the best way to improve my cornering was to change my bike. So, and he recommended the Monster R. So I did a little bit of assessment myself, and uh, here I am. So I needed a lighter bike as well. So this bike weighs precisely 85 kilograms less than the uh, RT, which is actually my full body weight. It's uh, far more agile. Obviously doesn't have a long range uh, touring capability. And it's a bike I'm gonna have to learn. So the reason I'm in urban mode at the moment is that it's a new bike, the surface is not brilliant today, it's sort of damp drying out, but there is mud around. And the bike has a, a brand new rear tyre on it, which is uh, currently 50 miles old. So well, I've sort of got the L plates back on again, really. So today is uh, by way of a first impression ride. It's also mixed in with a little bit of what I call conversion training for me. Moving over from a big uh, heavy tourer to uh, a naked sports bike. So we'll take it easy and we'll just see what we think. And the second factor today is the second factor of newness today is I'm uh, I've invested in a, a GoPro Max. Uh, I think 360 degree video is the way to go for uh, motorcycle vloggers. So I've got a whole new camera to learn as well. So I've got it in uh, what's called linear mode today. So no 360 degree footage today. I use Windows, a Windows PC and the, uh, the GoPro uh, software is not available yet for um, Uh, converting that software, so, uh, so we're just about down to basics, but hopefully you should benefit from a, a better quality uh, picture, but I will be experimenting uh, with 360 in the future, something to look forward to in 2020. So on to the bike then. So first impressions uh, when you get on a Monster off an RT is the fact that it just feels so much smaller. I think the word is uh, compact really. Uh, and it just feels like a thoroughbred. Um, I mean, not that I've anything like uh, tested its uh, capabilities yet. I'm going to get to learn to bike, look, get to uh, learn the bike uh, uh, very cautiously. Really, I know it's uh, it's got a lot more ability than I'll ever have. And this bike is 160 brake horsepower. It's got the Terminioni pipes fitted to it, uh, which I think adds you an extra three horsepower on, but actually smooths the torque curve out. Sounds great and looks better. Uh, and I think as I pointed out in my uh, previous video, the bike comes with uh, a lot of Evotech uh, stuff. Um, not so much the, the sort of fashionable stuff, but the, the functional stuff that's going to protect my uh, radiator. Equalise the danger here. Yeah, you can, uh, protect the radiator, protect the oil cooler and so forth. It's uh, got these uh, bungs on the, um, the axles in the event of a slide. And I've also invested in some Evotech uh, crash bungs as well to protect the engine so that'll be the subject of a future video when I fit those. I've uh, fitted um, a ram mount down here which the uh, uh, sat nav is going to be going on at some stage so of course the sat nav 
you know, today's sat nav gives you a lot of functionality, don't they, in terms of communications. Not that I ever make phone calls on the bike, but uh, certainly for directions, for uh, just a little bit of music occasionally, and uh, traffic information. So I've uh, invested in a BMW cradle. Uh, and I'm just going to work out how to wire that in, so that's the, that'll be the subject of yet another video. You see, I found a little place for my uh, uh, drift um, remote control. So, accelerating up onto the motorway now. And it's interesting actually because I'm not sitting behind a fairing as I was on the RT. So I'm in the wind blast um, and again the impressions are is that uh, behind an RT fairing the I would say the helmet noise is probably only marginally quieter than what I'm getting at the moment because you get turbulence over the top of the lip. I'm uh, just over six feet tall and of course it depends how tall you are where you actually sit in that low pressure area behind a, a screen on a fared bike but because I'm sitting in a very clean airflow on the Monster um, you get the benefit of a, um, a sort of a, you certainly get the air the air pressure but the uh, the wind just um, it sort of, sort of presses on your chest takes the weight off your arms your wrists certainly at this speed. So as I said, today I'm just going to give you first impressions really on the bike. So I'm going to take her out for uh, probably an hour and a half or so. I'll probably cut that down to 30 minutes for the video. And uh, I've deliberately, uh, because the, uh, we're in the winter conditions, and I learnt last year that in winter conditions don't choose a, r a route in the morning that's heading south, because you get a lot of glare off damp roads. And added to the grime on your helmet, it's just a risk. So if you are going out for a leisure ride, it's always good to head um, north or east, actually, in, in the morning. Obviously it doesn't work all the time, but uh, we might as well take advantage if we can. So riding position is very comfortable for me. The, um, the Monster R sits almost an inch taller than the Monster S and the, uh, the standard Monster 1200, which is a benefit to me. I think the riding position is probably something I will get used to. It's probably something I've, uh, I've got to grow into and uh, become accustomed to. Uh, I invested in a pair of uh, very good um, held gloves uh, last year, which I never really got the benefit of because of my uh, my illness, I never really wasn't really able to get out much over the winter. But what I've learnt is, you know, anything down to sort of uh, two degrees really, you, you, you do feel quite comfortable. And I've also got a Halverson's uh, heated neck warmer as well, which uh, I'm, I'm wearing today. I've not got it plugged into the battery though, it's just literally acting as a draft proof for today. Yeah, another little modification I've done, which you might be able to spot, is the uh, I've put some uh, grip puppies on. You know, 10, 12 quid, I find that's a good investment. I always find the grips on uh, motorcycles are standard grips. They're just too small for me. Whereas the grip puppy for me gives me uh, a level of um, insulation from vibration. Uh, but also gives me much greater throttle control. So getting to know the gears at the moment as well. I was uh, obviously um, on, on the RT after riding it for two years. Uh, you come to a level of um, unconscious, uh, un un unconscious competence. You don't, you don't really have to think about what gear you're going to be in your hand, and your, your left foot just uh, makes that decision for you after uh, you know so many hundreds or thousands of repetitions. But on a new bike, I've got to work out uh, you know which is the best gear for 30 miles an hour around town. I'd be interested to hear from uh, those of you like Alan on the channel, who's who's got the Monster or any other Monster. What do you think about that? Um, what sort of gear you might be in at uh, 40, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour as well. So it's a big twin, got loads of torque. 
look away from him. So in urban mode you don't get any information about um, the, uh, the RPM. It's a very simple display just for design for round town which is just essentially gives you a great big speed readout, a clock. Total miles and so forth. So traction control and, uh, and ABS are set uh, very generously. So perfect for a new tyre in the sort of damp grungy conditions and uh, a novice Ducati rider. So there being two days before Christmas, uh, Monday, Tuesday, um, I guess a lot of people will have uh, already finished for work. Supermarkets will be crazy, won't they, at the moment? A lot of distracted drivers on the roads. A lot of grunge sitting right on the corner there and uh, still some evidence of the flooding that we've had, very heavy rain in the uh, East Midlands over the last uh, week or two. I was watching Nottingham Roadcraft's video on uh, positioning the other night. We were exchanging a bit of banter on the channel and uh, uh, one of his uh, tips there is that you don't need to make uh, a sort of a severe emergency uh, detour around these uh, manhole covers sometimes you create a, a bigger problem than actually just riding straight over the cover itself You can see these roads just there, there was uh, quite a, a patch of mud and gravel all mixed in just down the uh, centre line. So today positioning is as much about, I think, about choosing the dry line where I'm going to get the best grip. And uh, if my uh, speed has to uh, be sacrificed as a result of that, well, so be it. position there around the left-hander. But yeah, the bike feels uh, very comfortable actually, I've got to say, because I'm a, you know, I'm no spring chicken, I'm a 60-year-old. And uh, those of you who followed my story know that I came back to motorcycling after a 37-year break. And I still feel very much like I'm learning. I've, uh, almost exactly a year ago, I uh, took my uh, IAM test and uh, managed the first, but uh, I didn't re ever really feel like an advanced rider at that stage. Um, and I feel I felt I felt this uh, this year, 2019, was gonna, I've actually missed uh, seven months of this year. So again, I'm playing catch up, but I'm not in I'm not in a hurry. So whilst I think one or two on the channel describe this as a hooligan bike, um, I guess it's how you ride it, isn't it? It's a nice view here of the, uh, the road ahead, or, or around to the right here. You know, we just opened her up a little bit, so even in, in urban mode it's, it's limited to 100 brake horsepower, but uh, there's, there's plenty of power on tap. I know when I took the, uh, the Monster S out, it was, um, that was in touring mode, so that was 160 brake horsepower. But it's all about what you do with that uh, right hand grip isn't it? Okay so I can look uh, across the edge there for this uh, left hand corner. So here we are in a 30 zone so I'm in third gear. Just feels like it's uh, pottering along really. I always find it hard when I'm on a new bike in difficult conditions and trying to think about advanced riding as well so my uh, advanced skills won't, won't be the sparkling best today but uh, I will catch up. Cyclist ahead. 
I'm sure much to the amusement to the subscribers, I've got my, my big high-vis vest on again today. Uh, but actually the reason that, uh, that, that I've normally been wearing my sort of halversons that have... Uh, it's a bit like a little tabard thing that sort of sits just over the top of your shoulders, which I've, uh, I've quite liked. Right, so I'm just going to let the cyclist pass the, uh, the bin lorry and I'm going to present the vehicle so that uh, any oncoming traffic can see me. Yeah, the reason I've got the, the full high vis uh, waistcoat on today is that uh, something that's happening on the Monster, which I, I took it out the other day, which didn't happen on the uh, RT, has got a big line of mud down my back. So again, any tips for those of you who ride uh, naked bikes with a big exposed back tyre? What do you do about that? Or do you just keep your bike in the winter, in the garage? tips gratefully received. I consider everything. I always try and respond to every comment. Apologies if I you have a comment and I don't get back to you for a few days but sometimes YouTube doesn't uh, alert you uh, properly so I have to sort of scour the, uh, the comments just to find out anybody's been posting new. But it's uh, great to be part of this uh, community that we've created. Pioneered by people like um, Nottingham Roadcraft. Whoa, she was over the white line, wasn't she? What in that puddle? And into the village of Cubbington, so we roll off. And as my mentor would say, no need to break. got to tuck your uh, elbows in on this bike to see through the mirrors. Whether I'll stick with these mirrors or fit some bar ends I don't yet know, but there's no rush. So let me know in the comments what you think about the, uh, the video. Uh, the quality, the position. Um, I've got it in linear mode at the moment. Uh, I could also... I've got a choice of a number of different um, angles on the GoPro. Uh, so one of those is the wide angle, which uh, uh, increases the uh, what I call the fisheye effect a little bit. So uh, let me know what you think. Would you like to see more on the left or the right? Would you... Uh... Well, why don't you cut the roundabout, mate? Obviously you get a little bit of uh, distortion then, but um, let me know what you think. Anybody out there uh, using GoPro Max yet? I've looked at a number of um, videos on YouTube and uh, a lot of you, uh, what I call young kids out there who uh, know a lot about this stuff, who learn very very quickly but again I've very much got my L plates on with the GoPro but I do have a sense it's going to be the next big thing for motorcyclists the downside with the GoPro Max is that you can't record sound direct to it so I'm having to uh, still keep my Drift Ghost uh, S on my helmet and just uh, use that just to record sound I don't know whether a solution will present itself. So just into a little bit of a, an urban situation now, a bit of traffic. Okay, so I'm going to go into sheepdog mode now and hold this oncoming car. Just give them a little nod of thank you there. Hazards everywhere this morning. And lots of distracted people doing last minute Christmas shopping. So I need to learn this bike in urban mode, uh, and by that I don't, I don't just mean the, uh, the engine mode, I actually mean what's it like around town. Feels very calm at the moment. Very tractable, very responsive. Roundabout's particularly tricky at the moment because of that surface gleam. And the new back tyre. Okay, it's so a slow in fast out here. Keep my eye on him. So 
So even at 30 miles an hour you can use the width of the road to uh, open up the view even in town. Again as my mentor advises, you always want to be on the safest place on the road. So we're about 30 minutes in, quite comfortable, backside's comfortable, uh, knees are comfortable, hands aren't quite as warm as they would have been on the RT. I'd say the air temperature today is probably about 6 degrees, it's certainly tolerable. to the middle of the road here just to set up the other view around the left-hander. This road has got a decent surface on and is uh, drying out nicely and no problem with the sunshine which is coming from our right. So by the end of today hopefully I'll have the best part of 100 miles on. So the tyre should be at least partially scrubbed in. The uh, feeling with the steering actually is um, it's, it's rather like a surgeon's scalpel really, it just seems so precise. So my uh, cornering is going to have to, uh, my own skill is uh, something which is going to have to uh, get brushed up on I think. And from 30 straight up to uh, 60 there. There's no doubt about it, this uh, bike is in uh, sort of just pure performance terms, is in a different uh, class to the RT. And I've got to say, um, didn't really know what to expect with the Monster R. I think I was expecting as a sort of a I didn't really know what to expect with the R. As a sort of a pure naked performance bike. But I've got to say, you know, this is my second ride today and uh, I actually feel that it's a very easy bike to ride. Now what it's like in sports mode, I've no idea. Uh, can't even compute that yet and that's, uh, that's several months away. In the warmer part of the spring, I think. But uh, so far, it's, it is actually easier to ride than the RT, I have to say. Um, you know, you can't defeat the laws of physics. And whilst everybody says they are, the, uh, these big uh, BMW 1200s uh, carry their weight low and they carry it easily, that is true. But uh, you've got this whole um, business of inertia, you know, mass times velocity. And then the, uh, the RT, that's 265 kilos. Now, if that's going in a straight line, that's all well and good. If that's going around the corner, then, you know, it's, uh, that's, it's great and it's steady, but it's, it's not as easy to obviously change direction when you're at 85 kilos less. So, uh, different horses, different courses, I guess. Very much enjoyed my time on the RT, and I'm glad I owned it. And if anybody wants it, by the way, it's sitting up there at uh, Penrith Motorcycles. Give Barry a call. Got a superb service from him. And I would highly recommend him. So we're now heading south, so we're into this gleam. Uh, can make it hard to pick up the uh, the road markings, can't it? The road is quiet, which is great. 
So 53 miles an hour, fourth gear, feels about right. So what's really suffering today is my acceleration sense. Because uh, I've got, um, I'm having to get used to uh, weight on my arms because of the riding position. And also uh, different engine, different gears. Great to be on a, out on a, a motorcycle in the winter. Roads are generally much quieter, of course the downside is the, uh, is the cold and the wet and the mud and the gravel. But I think I trade that for the other quieter roads actually. And particularly here you see we're uh, got a very nice clean road surface. I'm going to move away from the lorry. the uh, weight on the balls of my feet I'm trying to keep my elbows tucked in this gives me more uh, visibility in the mirrors so the engine braking feels very similar to the RT the brakes the uh, suspension are straight off the Ducati Panigale on the Monster R so uh, plenty of stopping power and the whole point of uh, suspension as somebody commented on one of my uh, videos this morning is uh, simply just to keep the wheels on the road which they do very nicely so far so good so first impressions an easy bike to ride I'm gonna have a lot of fun on the R so let me know what you think I'll probably post a few of these I might focus on specific things as we go through the next few rides well why not pull out in front of me eh? and the sound of the turbine you only exhaust so that's it back to the bike signing out it'd be great to hear from you in the comments thanks for all your support I wish you a happy festive season don't do anything I wouldn't do I'll speak to you soon.